Howdy, cowdies. Yeah, it's another week. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. We've been busy. Heaps of cool stuff again to sell. Lots of nice jewellery in the jewellery cabinet. It's chock-a-block this week. A nice little uh, Gillishay enamel sterling silver box. A little bit of damage, which is just a shame. Sterling silver compact. Some nice little uh, lorgnettes. Little pussy cat with a mouse over the back. Little uh, looks to be a little sort of Bergman Austrian bronze. No marks on it, but can't be much else. Little round tin over the back uh, from Paris Exposition or something. 1900. The horrendous horrend heffalump. <laughs> Some more little pugs over the back there. Uh, Bergman bronze, we're pretty sure. Another lovely little bit of horrend, the round box. Pill boxes and cigarette case over the back as well. Some really nice silver jewellery this week. I like that sort of necklace and pendant over the back, sort of mid-century modern style. Really nice men's gold uh, opal ring. These are interesting little sort of photographs or uh, cart visits of New Zealand soldiers, like pre-1900. Got all the details on the back, photographed in Dunedin and Wellington and stuff. Uh, more costume and silver. It's a nice little Marcusite sort of Art Deco pendant over the back of the box. MCC medallions. Some Royal Melbourne Golf Club twin set of cards. These are cool. All the sort of uh, Marvel uh, little iron-on patches. The Hulk and Spider-Man. A uh, little Mickey Mouse watch with the hands that move. Oh, a couple of men's nice watches there. Yeah, so we got Hanna-Barbera puffy stickers over the back. A little Smurf push puppet. Twin deck of Hermes playing cards. Although I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but I really couldn't give a rat's. Uh, California poppy, nice little tin. A Zippo cigarette lighters, more silver jewellery. Some nice stuff in the cabinet. Now what do we got? Pretty cool little reproduction tin sign. There you go, your friends wouldn't know it's a repro. Some more nice little sort of bits of Victorian style, Victorian furniture. Ladies items, costume jewellery and stuff in that box. These are pretty cool. These are old sort of little gilt skull, um, little locks for your car doors. Little knobs to go on top, they're cool. Little um, F86 Sabre ID model. Big lot of ivorine sort of dressing table stuff. Lovely ladies bag, looks like crocodile skin or something. A uh, little tap and die set. Pretty cool old BB gun, which has been decommissioned. There's a couple of screws and stuff missing, so it doesn't work. But it's a pretty cool thing. More decks of playing cards. These are from Sydney Golf Club over the back. Boxes of china and books and sort of extinguishers and breathing apparati. <laughs> More bags, a couple of lamps, ladies' hats. Cool sort of, this is a nice old Ferrari sort of raincoat, large size, I think the label says made in England. Pretty cool as well, the winter coat there from the 1970s, all fur lined as well. Uh, fishing gear, sports stuff, books, stereo gear, big lot of jars. And this is a nice big lot of power tools, you've got the Taurus drill press and sort of routers and drills and all sorts of stuff in that group lot. Some nice lots of books, lighting, mixed group lots of stuff. Uh, display cabinets, little sort of bedroom suite, more tools, pictures, a couple of skaties. It's a little globe cruiser in the front there. The other one's just a bit of a no-name thing, but it's pretty cool. Nice little Vox guitar amp, got more stereo gear and stuff down the back. Heaps of CDs and DVDs, pretty cool colourful Nana rug, rocking horse, more tools, some Aboriginal paintings, more stereo gear, big long board there with some gullwing sidewinder trucks on it, pretty cool sort of twin rubbers on them or something. Uh, so we've got stereo gear, a Reed sort of racing bike which is pretty bloody lightweight, some cool old garden sprinklers, it'll be time to get them set up on the nature strip pretty soon. Nice Japanese Yamaha guitar, classical. Big church pew, heaps of sort of gaming stuff. This is pretty cool, this little combination sort of lamp table. Uh, Coke crate with some old soft drink bottles, CDs. Some nice books and stuff this week actually. Australian Encyclopedia, aircraft, Star Wars, mixed lots. 
heaps of games and sort of doll's house with the furniture and boxes of games and stuff. So we've got footy gear with jumpers, guitars, guitar cases, golf clubs and stuff, records. Alright, what else have we got? We've got some more nice paintings this week, I reckon. This is nice big Yona Miso oil. And a nice big still life. She was a student of Jock Freighter. There you go. It's a nice thing. I don't see many of her works. I reckon that's about the second one I've seen after doing this for about 20 bloody years. Uh, it's a nice little Victor Cobb etching. I think it's the Presbyterian Church in Turak. This is a J. Dodd etching. There you go. No one knows who J. Dodd is though. Really good artist. Always does etchings. I reckon it's probably a pseudonym. This is one of my favourites. This is a cool big jock clutterbuck. Three coins in a fountain. Big sort of mixed media or sort of etching and aqua tint. It's a nice example. He always does unusual sort of shapes and stuff. The plates are really different. It's all signed, titled and numbered. I reckon, what, 12 out of 20? There you go. Good thing. Great painter. Good old jock. Clutterbuck. What else have we got? This is a nice little Isabel Huntington. I'll show you this thing. Really nice little watercolour as well. I think it's the tree at some university or something. A tree at Latrobe High. There you go. All right, some little modern sort of lamps, some pottery books, 1970s. These are pretty early engravings. This one's like sort of 17th century. This one's a little bit later. Portraits, interesting things. A little group, lot of sort of mixed gear, blokey sort of stuff. It's a lovely old Victorian uh, needlework tapestry thing. Retro rage coat print with a nice little bag. Jan Neal watercolour from 1987. This is sort of kind of crazy. Jan Neal watercolour turned up last Friday. Little Jan Neal turned up on Monday. Another little Jan Neal turned up on Monday. And this one turned up today. All from three different places. So there you go. If you like Jan Neal's work, there's four of the pictures in this week's sale. Tins. A little sort of Spanish felt toys there. A little bullfighter. Else we've got radios and stuff. These are cool. These are someone's made a pair of fire dogs out of... Uh, two old sort of cast bathtub feet. Just turned them upside down. And they've done it quite a while ago. Looks to be pretty cool. Old badges and stuff. Blokey gear. Some retro ashtrays. There's a nice little of poker chips. Uh, Pink Panther Day Bill poster. Joe Lewis. Star of the movie Jaguar Lives. Yeah? Some pretty cool flyers there. Big John Olsen books a ripper. More jars. Remote control car. Nice little Polaroid camera. A couple of cool old baseball caps. There you go. A couple of old stack hats. What else have we got? Some interesting sort of Wedgwood. Um, like sort of hybrid clubs. This is a nice billiards cue made in Canada. Uh, 77 weg. It's a good ping putter down the bottom there. Answer 2 or something like that. Uh, uncut sheet of Kanga cricket cards. Cool big Japanese sort of drum. Oz pottery. Kind of like the little sort of mambo looking sort of dog to go out in the garden with Ned. Uh, Ford sign with a Jim Beam sort of decanter. Jollof's Outbacks. Majolica. Uh, English 19 sort of 30s. Uh, British school watercolour. A couple of cool old Coke bottles with their labels. Mary Thought Bears. Scarface. Nice book. Unknown Paintings of Kane Nielsen. Real nice Art Deco sort of stuff. Great little puzzle box there, which we've left open because it's really hard. Took me about 20 minutes the other day to figure it out. A uh, couple of good little bits of pottery. Diggins and Les McLemon, I reckon. Sort of woven sort of leather stick. Sort of a bit interesting. Sort of like a whacking stick or something. Uh, cards. Some Jolliffe comics. Old hot water bottle. This is a cool lot. This is one of my favourite things. <coughs> <laughs> Train whistle, love it. A uh, little guitar amp. This is a cool old Gladstone bag. Some of these bloody mobile decals on here are pretty obscure. Coleraine, I don't reckon you're going to see that every day. Um, camper down on the side. And I reckon the other side's got nil. There you go, some sort of country footy stickers for mobile gas. On the old Gladstone bag. Lovely little parasol, some old aspic sort of moulds. Some interesting magazines. 
couple of nice walking sticks, tins, uh, pottery, little pierced vases, quite nice with the Diana, David Geschke vases, the Rene Kink footy, I think it's Peter Lowe and a Remude vase, tribal sort of skull, decorated, hand painted, a uh, nice little Groot's cocoa tin, collection of art glass, these are nice, the Rhonda Ogilvy goblets, 1970s potter, this is a nice big bit as well, big Australian pottery vase, which is just that sort of minim minimal uh, japonica decoration down the front, a little bit on the back as well in a sort of Japanese style. Uh, there is a little mark on the bottom, but geez, it's hard to figure it out. Lovely big Edwardian figure, plasterware. A really nice big oil as well, classical sort of still life oil, looks to be sort of 19th century. Some really nice parasols and sticks down the bottom here, little hound's head. Sterling silver, this one's a ripper as well. Whomping big, really unusual bit of Oz pottery there. No marks on it. Uh, Victorian luster candlestick, a bit green away. Really cool little Art Deco um, smoking sort of set box. It's battery operated, I reckon that little drawer with the green knob pulls out. Batteries go in and his eyes light up on the owl. Really cool. Nice little tin, I think it's an Allen's Christmas box tin. Probably wrong though. Wilkinson's perfected. Pontefract cakes. They're cool tins. A couple of nice bits of Polish glass, Crosno, and I think Jablonski, I reckon the little oil lamp is. Really lovely book as well. We uh, Japan, Jap we Japanese, I think it's called, volume two. Staffordshire flatback, Radiance Crane Toffee. Nice metal Art Deco sort of plate. A little Shelley Art Deco Harmony Ware. Some nice bits up the top shelf. There you go, Empire State Radio. It looks to be a black case. Uh, a couple of little cracks in the top that have been sort of half cleaned up. Pretty sure it's going to be the What's It Worth this week. But I like the green sort of ribbed deco style sort of glass vase. It's got a bit of age. Beautiful old tin. Arta Halpern charger. Silvac Siamese. Amphora pots, pretty cool. Uranium glass set. Little Dalton figure. Ben and Bella down at the farm. Nice book by Peg Maltby. There you go, that'll do. I could keep talking shit for another 20 minutes, you know what I'm like. But that'll do. Gonna be a good sale on Thursday, guys. See you then.